space engineers out there, Commander Kingfish here, and I am back in Space Engineers, the industrial overhaul. Now, one of the things you'll find that's a little bit different today is that uh, my voice track did not record like it normally does. So I am doing a voiceover. So hopefully this is going to turn out okay for you. And so what we're doing is today we were kind of looking over what uh, we had finished up on the last uh, episode and that was having a LCD screen put up with a checklist on there on what needs to be done. And we had also was working on the wind uh, turbine to get it set up and to help alleviate some of the pressure off of the hydrogen engine up there and so what I'm doing here is just kind of going over the board with what we have to do uh, the flying machine is set I've got the extra uh, uh, tank on it so it should have a much more uh, radius or distance wise with it and then some of the other stuff that needs to get done so let's uh, see what I should be getting ready to start heading to. I guess I'm still kind of going over the checklist here and what we have. And I think I stopped and said that I don't, not really sure I like the way that's set up, but it's the way I have it currently right now it's all plumbed in so I may uh, change that a little bit later okay I am heading up to review where we're at with the wind turbine right now so I think uh, as we get up here you're going to see uh, that uh, I have Going up and yeah, we're going to get up to the wind turbine just to see exactly what uh, where we're at. And I think as you'll notice once we get going on here that we will uh, start uh, working on the wind turbine. Tried not to uh, go up the ladder too fast. I know that uh, some folks, uh, it can kind of be a little uh, disorientating and it has never kind of really bothered me. So I think uh, what we're about ready to do here is kind of take a look at what we need for parts wise. Uh, it was the advanced computer that was kind of slowing things up a little bit and I think I had at some point had to go and uh, mine some gold which was uh, needed for needed for the gold wire was needed for the advanced computer and I think from the standpoint of what I was uh, looking at doing here is I needed to get the parts. I also needed to uh, kind of build this thing out. So uh, we're coming up to a transition here and I think that was after I had gone and, and mined the gold to get it into place. I also I think uh, snagged a uh, unknown signal uh, as well. As we are kind of moving forward, I think I was talking a little bit about what I had gotten done, what I needed to do was uh, to go get the unknown signal and whatnot. So we should be gathering up or I should have all the parts as needed. 
And I think what's going to happen up here is I kind of discovered that the blade was going to clip into the voxel into the ground and I probably didn't need to worry about this as you'll see so but I do drill this out and make a little trench for the blade and again as we get later on into the episode you're going to see that uh, it uh, really didn't didn't matter I probably shouldn't have, have needed to do this but hindsight is always 2020 right so we're getting this all cleared out and I think I have all the parts on me to finish this so I think that's what we're, I was trying to do is get this so that it would uh, spin properly I was worried that uh, there was going to be colliders on those blades and that it would explode and I didn't want all my parts to get uh, lost all right I should be just about done with that yeah I think I uh, figured that uh, that was enough and should be heading up now to finish uh, putting this in I going and getting that gold gold so that I get the wire gold wire gave me enough to finish making the advanced computers that need to go in so I didn't have very many parts left to put into it see we're almost to the top and here we go we're going to finish it there it is and it is working away no explosions or anything I was kind of, that's what I was kind of worried about uh, so we're going to get down to the bottom take a look at how the blades are reacting to the voxels down there again I was worried about uh, the colliders but obviously uh, we're going to get over here and you're going to see I really didn't need to worry about that you can kind of see that it is cutting through the voxels right there so yeah we were we were good and so I think we've got another transition coming up here I uh, needed to go get the uh, parts so that I could put the power line in which I really like these uh, tethers and power poles it really kind of makes you have a little more better looking base you don't have to have it all connected with voxels uh, you know or blocks and it's kind of one of the, the crazy things about it uh, is to where the initial wireframe goes in but jumping up there a little bit is not a problem I, I suppose if you were playing with uh, with jetpacks that's not a problem at all uh, but yeah so we want to get uh, laid out here to where the lines are running so it's not uh, going to interfere or look look hokey with the uh, blades cutting through the power lines that are going to be going across I mean they wouldn't have collided or anything but it just would have looked funny I could have run it straight over there but I did a little bit of an angle here so that uh, it would miss that and as you can see we've got our uh, cement blocks in place and 
And then getting ready to put the power pole in, I kind of threw down... Uh, yeah, changing our colors back. Uh, I popped that in without thinking, but I wanted to put a power line in. So you're going to see me take this out. Yeah, take that out. And then we'll put an actual power power line pole in. Which I think that just gives a little more better look to it. Uh, you don't want uh, transformers. And you could have used transformers, but I think I like the looks of having the power pole in place. I just think it looks better. Again, got to jump up there and do the weld on it. I know this looks a little little hokey in that it it uh, expands out and you're kind of in the middle of it. But there we go. We've got the, the power line in. And now we will put a transformer bat in over here to our main uh, power station or power center. And we will go with a transformer here. There we go. That's in. And now we just got to hook up the lines. And I thought I had enough to, to do these cement blocks, but uh, just enough to kind of just get that one partially done. So here we go. Uh, again, uh, hands free. Uh, and then uh, uh, I believe it was a left click or right click on that to get the line. And you can see it's turned green and that's connected. So we'll do the same thing here. We'll grab a line and we'll run it over. And we have this uh, connect connected into our power grid. There we go. Now, one of the things that you'll see, I. Uh, was a little disappointed and it only makes sense in that uh, uh, I'm trying to find actually I'm trying to find the wind turbine it's actually titled a large wind turbine and you'll see me uh, figure that out uh, here in just a second Come on, come on, you'll figure it out. Sometimes the commander's a little slow. So, here we go. There it is, large wind turbine. All right, so that's what we need to look for. Now, one of the things you'll see when we do get this in here is that, kind of disappointed in it and kind of figured that much once I started kind of looking at that, but the wind, uh clearance is poor uh, at best and we weren't really getting much in the way of uh, full full optimization with this particular setup and so I think that's uh, what I'm kind of sitting here debating is that uh, do I need to redo that which the ultimate decision was, yeah, I needed to raise that much higher. So, you're going to see uh, uh, me uh, actually kind of uh, building this thing up and getting it higher. So, yeah, that was a transition. So, you're going to see me have to grind this thing down. And that's what I'm going to start doing. So, I'd already kind of 
put uh, several more cylinders in and raise that up and I think I'm ready to the point of starting to grind this down. Uh, it was a bit scary Energy <laughs> low. when uh, you'll come and, and see what uh, as I go up uh, putting those scaffolding in and trying to make sure I didn't fall. It would have been a long fall and yeah here we go. You'll kind of see what it kind of looks like here. So hopping over again stay close to the center you stay close to that center pole and you're going to be okay but uh, stepping out over the edge and putting each one of these uh, sloped blocks in was was a bit scary for sure all right as we're getting up towards the top and here we are and you kind of see that that's where I got the new uh, wind turbine set in place. And I'm kind of just explaining what I had to do there. I had to, to get a second block out there in order to get out of the way so that it would uh, place the uh, wind turbine so I could build that. I think now I needed some energy and I needed to go get the parts for that wind turbine and I actually th think what I do is uh, yeah I uh, start uh, building all those uh, cylinders up so I think you'll go and see that uh, I got the cylinders done on here and I think it's going to look pretty good once I get that finished. I also have all the parts to finish that wind turbine up at the top. I've removed the old wind turbine. And again, not uh, so worried about uh, collision since uh, we know that uh, those uh, blades do not uh, collide. So we should be in pretty, pretty good shape. So all the way up to the top. And again, the amazing thing is, I never fell. Never died in this whole thing. Okay, here we go. And you'll see once it's completed that uh, it uh, blades are cutting through, so that's where, yeah, you can see that they're cutting through the voxels. So I'm removing all of the scaffolding. I didn't know how else to do it. Uh, if I'd have had a jetpack, then that wouldn't have been a problem, and I could have uh, removed those ahead of time before finishing finishing the uh, wind turbine so I think going down here I'm just what I'm doing is taking out all of the scaffolding and uh, getting getting those out of the way energy low and of course energy is always low
Yep, removing all of that scaffolding, all of uh, the stairs that I had put in. Uh, I think uh, once we get uh, done, and here's the tran transition. Uh, I had to go get energy and whatnot. But I was extremely happy with the way it had uh, uh, turned out. It looks pretty darn good, and it actually mimics what a real uh, wind turbine looks like here in the U.S. And obviously the screenshot there. Uh, so that's going to be the thumbnail. And again, we get down here, you'll kind of look, and when we look at the statistics on this, uh, you'll see that it's showing a optimal optimal setting let's see there where is it there it is and yes you can see that it's optimal and we're at uh, 3.5 uh, megawatts for the max output which is good uh, you'll also see right now that there's not a lot of demand on it uh, it also I think I should be pulling up the hydrogen engine here and come on commander let's move it along yep i think i uh, realized that i wanted to look at the hydrogen engine there it is all right and you can see that uh, we're not uh, actually utilizing any uh, current output right now on the hydrogen engine. All of it's being taken care of by the wind turbines. The four smaller ones and the one large one. So I'm pretty happy with that. And so that's going to mean a lot less uh, mining for ice. And I will fill that uh, back up and it should really not have to worry about it uh, too much. Now the other thing that I wanted to do, and I'm not sure what it's going to take to, to get it into place. I need to put some sort of uh, power storage. And here I'm kind of looking at some of these capacitors and whatnot. And I think I just am not right needing to the technology. Uh, uh, that one there is way beyond. It takes quantum stuff, and so we're a long ways from that. Uh, this next one that I've got coming up, uh, I guess I kind of cut out of that. There was uh, another set of capacitors that uh, would require uh, uh, the blue capacitors, which requires rubber, and so again, we're still a ways off from being able to put anything like that in. Uh, so here, I think I was taking a, a last look at the windmill, which again, I'm pretty excited about that that's in place. And, uh, well, I guess I'm taking one more look up here. I think I was kind of figuring out, oh, I know what, uh, uh, what I wanted to do. I wanted to finish off, I had the additional blocks in place, and I wanted to finish the base here and also I know on uh, the real wind turbines they have a door at the base going into the tall uh, support structure and I think that that's where they have controls and I think what I want to do here is maybe at some point kind of build out a little little building and obviously I can't put a uh, uh, building or anything inside of those cylinders but I think I put a little building to kind of simulate the technology side of things maybe with a LCD reader in there or something like that uh, some controls in there for the base I think that'll look cool and it'll give it a little bit more I, I guess realism to it so yeah and so again you can kind of see I put that trench in there which obviously I wish in hindsight, I wish they didn't add that in there. So we're about done with the video. I was uh, kind of taking one last look at the 
uh, LCD. Uh, I think I end up going to mark it as being uh, that we've got the wind power at least uh, checked off and done. So next will be, I'm not sure what next will be, it might be uh, uh, taking the flying machine back up to the bauxite mine and maybe fixing those drills up there. Uh, also I need to get more base defenses in and get those done and continually expanding the base. Uh, we need to get that chemical refinery in, but uh, that's not going to do us any good until I can get some of the new ores, like the oil sand and stuff like that. So, I think, yeah, here is where I am uh, putting the check mark or the, the X to show that the wind portion of the power needed is done. There we go. And doing a little editing. And X marks the spot. I have also figured out what, at least on my default settings, so that uh, next time I hope I'm not going to have to do a voiceover again. Uh, I will double check that once uh, I uh, get ready to do the next video, just to make sure that uh, nothing uh, reset on my uh, recording software. All right. Well, I hope that uh, uh, you all enjoyed the video. Uh, keep building out there space engineers and keep getting shot uh, again I hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit that thumbs up and please subscribe it helps the channel a lot and with that uh, Commander Kingfish is out of here and I will see you all in the next video